Patch 0.16 is here, and while we're all diving into the new wipe, there's no denying one thing. Performance has gotten much worse. Whether it's frame drops, stuttering, or longer loading times, or even crashing out during loading, this update has pushed Tarkov's hardware demands to a new level, especially on maps like Streets and the newly reworked Customs. One of the biggest questions right now, is 32 gigabytes of RAM enough to handle Tarkov's increased demands, or do you need to upgrade to 64 gigabytes to get smoother gameplay? Today, we're putting both setups to the test across three maps, Labs, Streets, and Customs, to find out if upgrading your RAM is the key to improving performance. Let's dive in. To answer this question, I set up a series of tests on three maps, Labs, Streets, and Customs. Labs is probably the lightest map to run, while Streets and Customs are the most demanding. The routes I tested are shown here, and for Customs, I specifically focused on the new industrial plant building. Here's the test rig I used, a Ryzen 9800X 3D, RTX 4070 with 32 gigs and 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM at 6000 CL30 with Titan secondary and tertiary timings. For those interested in the exact timing set, I've included the details in the video description below. I'm also running a plus 200 boost clock override and minus 40 CO value for PBO. If you're interested in seeing my 9800X3D tune in detail, I have a video going over that here. For consistency, I tested using my optimized presets in both native 1440 and 1080 resolutions. I also have a video overview for my settings here. To keep things fair, I tested in both offline mode with no AI on all three maps and did online raids in streets and customs. This gave me a good mix of controlled and real world scenarios. It wasn't easy, it was pretty time consuming, but I averaged the results from three runs for each test to ensure accuracy. In labs 1440, 40 offline. With 64 gigs of RAM, performance improved slightly with the 0.85% boost in average FPS, but a more noticeable gain of 10.5% in 0.1% lows. This indicates that while overall performance is similar, there are gains in consistency, reducing stuttering during intense moments. In Labs 1080, 64 gigs of RAM yields a 6.5% increase in average FPS and a moderate improvement in 1% low at 7%. This provides a smoother experience, particularly with more stable performance during heavy gameplay moments. On Streets 1440 in offline mode, the 64 gig config had a 5% higher average FPS, but the biggest improvements are seen in 1% and 0.1% lows at 37 and 25% respectively. This results in a smoother overall experience with better frame consistency, especially in demanding scenarios. In Streets offline 1080 with 64 gigabytes, 1% low improves by a whopping 45%, again resulting in better stability during busy moments in the game. Average FPS just saw a small increase at 2%, but the overall experience should be much smoother with 64 gigabytes this wipe. In online play on streets at 1440, 1% and 0.1% lows show impressive gains of 33 and 40% respectively. This demonstrates a significant improvement in frame consistency during online raids, which is key for smoother gameplay. In Streets 1080 Online, there's no change in average FPS, but 1% lows and 0.1% lows again show improvements of 3% and 25%. In 1080, the differences aren't as large as in higher resolutions, but still a 25% higher 0.1% load makes a big difference in smoothness. Going to Customs Offline in 1440, with 64 gigabytes, average FPS increases by just about 3.5%, while the 1% and 0.1% lows also show moderate improvements. In 1080 Customs Offline, 1% low improves by about 11% for the 64 gigabyte config, and the average FPS improves by about 3%. Taking the systems online, in Customs 1440, the biggest improvements are seen in the 1% and 0.1% lows again, 33% and 40% respectively, showing a major boost in frame consistency, reducing those stutters. In Customs 1080 online, while average FPS remains unchanged, again, the 1% and 0.1% lows were improved by 3 and 25% respectively. Again, in 1080, the leads aren't as large, but as I moved up in resolution, those gains really blew up. RAM usage this wipe has absolutely scaled skyrocketed. On a 32 gigabyte system, the game was constantly hovering around 28 to 30 gigs of usage, which is basically maxing out since the system itself eats up a few gigs. On the 64 gigabyte setup, usage shot up to a jaw dropping 30 to 40 gigs. Even with 48 gigs, you might be flirting with the limit this wipe. 
It's just wild. Asset loading and AI spawns, which have always been a little janky, now cause some serious frame time spikes and FPS drops. Intense combat moments feel way less fluid than they used to, and customs of all maps has taken a turn for the worse. With the rework adding tons of new assets and textures, it's gone from one of the smoothest maps to feeling like Streets 2.0. So, is 64 gigs of RAM worth it for Tarkov after the 0.16 patch? If you're a hardcore player who spends a lot of time on Streets or Customs, or if you stream or multitask heavily, the upgrade is absolutely worth worth considering. The extra headroom eliminates stutters, smooths out FPS dips, and provides a more stable experience overall. 32 gigabytes is still viable, but with the new update, you're probably going to run into the occasional stutter here and there. A decent 32 gigabytes 6000 CL30 kit of DDR5 costs about $90 to $100 right now, while a 64 gigabytes set with equal timings is around 160 or more. The key question is how much you value a smoother experience versus the cost of upgrading. In summary, 64 gigabytes of RAM does make a difference in performance this wipe, especially on demanding maps like Streets and the reworked customs. It's a noticeable upgrade for stability and consistency, but if you're on a budget, 32 gigabytes can still hold its own for most situations. And that's all I got for this one. Let me know in the comments what your experience has been with 32 or 64 gigabytes of RAM in Tarkov. I'll probably do a DDR4 comparison going forward. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Tarkov and hardware content and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. If you're looking for a great community to talk about all things PC hardware and gaming, join the Purology Discord which is now at 1100 members and counting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.